I think I really didn't bring enough food for this trip, so I gotta like space out my snacks, you know. And it's all unhealthy. All of it's just sugar. <laughs> just one of those days, you know. Mm. your tail. Ooh, silky. <laughs> There's gonna be animals, <laughs> big ones. Thank you. 
to number one of two hiking videos in Taiwan. I was actually invited to Taiwan by a Taiwan Pitch and they challenged me to make two videos based in the mountains in Taiwan. And I'm really, really glad that they did. I probably wouldn't have thought about hiking in Taiwan much if it wasn't for this. There's a lot, a lot, a lot of really beautiful high elevation mountains in Taiwan, which is really crazy considering how small it is. I actually ended up doing like a much larger hike uh, like a week later or something. So that video is coming out on my channel very soon. Uh, really, really stunning views from there as well. But Taipei has a lot of really beautiful nature, nature and trails and, and all kinds of things really close to the city. It's actually kind of like overwhelming zooming in on Google Maps. I'm like, I want to go to all of these places. <laughs> so the Taipei Grand Trail, it's a 92 kilometer trail that goes all the way around the Taipei region and it's split up into seven sections. Uh, the sections that I did were section three and like half of section four. I had to, I had to cut it off a bit earlier because the sun was going down and I was taking too long getting all my shots and everything. So, and each section has like a, a different kind of landscape that you can choose from. So for this hike, I started at, I'm going to say it wrong. Zhao Yu Kang Recreation Center. It was only a 20 minute drive from like the main heart of the city in Taipei. Um, I just caught an Uber there because Ubers are really cheap in Taiwan as well. And actually the whole area with the, the sulfur vents and all of that, that's all wheelchair accessible as well, which is really cool to see. So that's where I started the hike. And then from there, you continue up to Mount Kijing. I may be saying that wrong, definitely am. From there, section four is supposed to finish at Dahu MRT station, but like I said, I finished it a little bit earlier. I think it's really cool that Taipei has like built this this hiking trail throughout the city. And, you know, I think for a, for a bit there, they were like giving out prizes to people that had completed every single section of the hike. I think it's a really wonderful way to get people out of the city and to get them into nature. And it's, it's all very accessible. It's very easy to get to from main Taipei. So I think, uh, I think if this kind of thing was close to me in Osaka, I would be going there all the time. One thing that I really loved about this hike was that a lot of it was downhill. Uh, I don't do well with uphill sections generally. I do a lot better with downhill, so I really enjoyed this that aspect of it. Um, but I noticed a lot of people were walking uphill. And I think that might be because at the end of this trail is the MRT, like the, the train station. Whereas to get here, I had to catch an Uber or a taxi. So it's a little more convenient going the other way, I guess. I filmed this on my Sony a7S III with my f4 60 to 35 millimeter lens, but I also brought along my new 100 to 400 millimeter lens, which is very heavy, but it makes for some nice shots. And I also have my DJI Mavic 3 Pro. I don't know, the Mavic 3, one of them. And yeah, that's all I've got to say. This video is a little bit shorter than usual because it's just a day hike really, but really beautiful nonetheless. And I'm really, really, really thankful for Taiwan Pitch bringing me to Taiwan and encouraging people to get out into nature. I think that's all. It's all a wonderful, worthy cause. Uh, so thank you so much for watching this video all the way to the end. Thank you, Taiwan Pitch, for bringing me to Taiwan. And yeah, if you like it, like it. If you want to see more, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.